how are you doing welcome back to my channel i am miss kenya for those of you who are new and i know i have been lost for a whole week i didn't post any video last week and i went without notice sorry about that i needed a break from youtube so that is why i didn't post any video but this week i am doing better expect at least two videos from me so today is on a sunday and it's around 6 30 so i want to make dinner and <laughs> by now i know you already know that i want to cook with you and yeah that is what is going to happen in this video i want to make mashed potatoes with chicken stew amarura chicken stew so in this video i'll be making mashed potatoes because i don't want the video to be too long i'll do two separate videos this one in this one i'll make the mashed potatoes and because i know this one is going up on a monday so on tuesday or wednesday expect the amarura chicken stew recipe and let's get into making the mashed potatoes in this one right guys for the mashed potatoes i have mashed potatoes not mashed potatoes i have irish potatoes of course and i have peeled and diced mine to this size to make work easier i didn't want to peel them on camera and i have tried to make them the same size so that the mashed potatoes won't be lumpy but of course that is a little bit difficult but it won't be lumpy it won't be lumpy but i will have to do extra work because they are not of the same size i have salt i have milk and of course i'm not going to be using all this milk i'll be using like half a cup i have cooking cream and guys i love this cooking cream i love the bio cooking cream i have butter and mine is unsalted although sometimes i use salted butter I use salted butter and use just a little bit of salt and when I don't have butter I use blue band but I'm not going to be using the blue band because of course I have the butter so what I'm going to be use to be doing I have already washed the potatoes and I have already put some water in them cold water so I'm going to be adding a little salt salt to taste and then i will i will boil them for around five minutes i will boil them for around five minutes so that they don't overcook five three to five minutes so let's do that so i have placed them on fire i have placed the potatoes on fire and i'm going to cook them just kidogo until a fork can pass through i don't want them to overcook guys i am back and i'm back after around 10 minutes five minutes was too little so i'm back after 10 minutes and as i told you it was difficult for me to make the potatoes of the same size because some were too big and some were too small so I will try okay as you can see the fork can go through the bigger potatoes so I am going to strain the water and put the potatoes back on fire I have already strained the water from my potatoes and i want all the water to be dried up so i'm going to let the water dry dry up completely in case there there was any left before adding in my milk as, as you can see there is no water left there isn't any water left so and also have tasted my potatoes and they don't have enough salt i think the water <laughs> went with the strained water so i'm going to add a little bit of the salt and then i will add in my milk i have this milk almost a glass or half a glass almost a glass and then i will let the potatoes boil with the milk that i have put in them and i will let them boil until all almost all the milk is 
evaporated and then I will be back after that. Guys, I made a mistake of covering the potatoes with the milk. That is why my lid is looking like this. And as you can see, all my milk is drained. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add butter. And you can add as much as you want. In my case, I will add a spoon and a half. Because I want it to be creamy. So I will add that and also I will add in my cooking cream. I'm not going to use a lot so that is enough. And I will wait for my butter to melt so that I can mash the potatoes. And guys, let me know how you make your mashed potatoes on the comment section below. Because I know there are people who fry their potatoes and others don't. So let us know how you make yours on the comment section below. And see, my butter is melted. It's completely melted. So I'm going to mash the potatoes using a cooking stick before I can use a hard mixture. So let's mash this one. Guys, as you can see, I've already mashed the potatoes, but you can still see some lumps. And I don't think <laughs> the wooden stick is enough for that, so I'm going to use the hard mixer. I'm going to plug in this one, the hard mixer, and use it. So let, let me do it. Guys, look at that. All done. All done and it's smooth. Very smooth and it's not lumpy unlike when using the cooking stick. And actually you can use the hard mixer, mixer from the start to the end. But I love using the cooking stick for no apparent reason. So that is it. That is our mashed potatoes. Very smooth. Let me plate it and then I will be right back. So guys, this is our dinner today. We have the chicken stew. This is a Marura chicken stew. Kindly check on the description box for the video because I have done a video about it and it's yummy. You will like it. And this is our mashed potatoes. Let me know what you think on the comment section below. Kindly leave a comment and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video until this point. Bye.